The exercise is shown are for informational purposes only. Only attempt any workout under professional supervision with a qualified trainer and at your own risk. Always consult your physician before attempting any physical exercise. By watching any part of this video, you expressly agree to release and discharge the producers and trainers and waive any right and legal action for personal injury or property damage. Welcome to Kick Fit with Coach D. We're going to start out with our stretch. Raise your elbow high. Grab the elbow on the other arm. Pull the arm towards you. And then switch across the shoulders. Press your forearm against it. And then do the same thing. Raise your elbow up. Pull your elbow inward towards your body. Get a nice pull there. Feel that stretch on the side of your ribs. And then cross your arms. Again, pull that shoulder socket. Get that shoulder muscle really, really loose. Right here, you're gonna spread your legs and squat down. Legs spread apart. Lean forward. Try to get that stretch inside your thighs, inside your legs. Bend forward, bring your body forward. And go off to one side, try to put your head to your knee. Bring your head close to your knee, try to keep your leg straight. Grab your leg if you can, or your ankle. And the same thing, go on the other side. Bring that head to your knee, pull your head forward. Try to keep your leg straight. All right, put the feet together. Bring your legs to your ankles and pull your head forward. Try to pull it towards your knees. Get that stretch going on the legs there. We'll do a lot of kicking. We make sure we want to get our legs loose. Now we're going to lean back. Keep your shoulders flat. Swing your leg over and feel that stretch on the lower back. You should feel it on your glutes too. Your little butt muscle there. Same thing on the other side. Keeping the shoulders flat. One leg bent as it crosses over your body. Pull as far as you can, get a good stretch there on your lower back. Now with your legs up, one leg crosses over the other. Twist your body. And the same thing, switch sides, cross your leg over, reach over the opposite side. do it twisting or you can do it on the same side all right stand up kick your legs loose loosen your body loosen your neck roll your neck around in a big circle you need to do this relax so make sure you're relaxed while you're doing this same thing on the other side some people call this the Stevie Wonder stretch um, and then now we're gonna put a little pressure behind your head and pull your head forward, okay? Not too much, just get a little gentle pull. Now lift underneath your chin, push your head backwards. And pull to one side. And reach over the other side of your head and pull to the other side. All right, shake everything loose. Now we're gonna do our customary jump rope. And if you don't have a jump rope, swing your arms like you do have a rope in your hand and get that pacing going, okay? We're gonna be light on our feet. We're gonna shuffle our feet back and forth. You wanna feel that weight on your calves, okay? And in Muay Thai and in boxing, we need a lot of footwork spring in our feet to launch those kicks and to move backwards and forward sideways. And that mobility depends on strong calves. It's also important to regulate your breathing. So you wanna breathe in a consistent fashion. Draw the air in and out. And make sure you don't hold your breath. That's one of the most important things. Don't hold your breath as you skip rope. If you do have a rope, just go ahead and let that glide underneath your feet so you're skipping rope. Don't try to jump too high. So want that rope to just glide underneath your feet. And if you don't have rope, 
and go ahead and use the same motion. Just turn your wrist around. Pretend you have a rope in your hand. And bounce up and down. You can bounce on both feet or alternate with one foot and the other. Get that spring in your feet. Shuffle your feet back and forth. Forward and backwards. Get that mobility going. It's a great warm up exercise to get your body and blood flowing really, really quick. If you mess up, you just go ahead and keep your bounce going and just start up again. You can jump up in a consistent fashion, just a good even beat. Progressively move a little bit faster. Again, glide, glide, let that rope glide underneath your feet. Breathe, in and out. Later, as you become more advanced, you can take a breath, hold your breath, and hold, see how long you can hold it. Hold it as long as you can, then let it out. Take another deep breath again. And that will allow you to just process that oxygen. Increase your lung capacity. shadow box a little bit keep moving though so if you mess up when you jump rope don't stop just go and keep moving keep that rhythm going and we'll get that rope swinging again all right let's take a look at the first combination we're going to work on today our combination is going to be based on boxing so a lot of hand work and parry and self-defense combo number one Today we're going to work on a combination that involves pairing or peeling, okay? So we're going to hit one, two, uppercut. On this uppercut hand, we're going to peel down and throw across, okay? So one, two, left uppercut, peel down with the left hand, throw the right cross, all right? One, two, up, peel, cross, all right? Doing it here, jab, cross, uppercut, peel down, cross. Again, one, two, uppercut, peel down, cross. One more time, one, two, uppercut, parry, cross. And again here, one, two, uppercut, parry down, cross. Again, one, two, uppercut, parry down, and cross. We're gonna take a look at half speed, so we're gonna go jab, cross, left uppercut. That left hand now pushes the punch down and throws across. All right, jab, cross, left uppercut, parry the hand down, and throw that cross. And you can parry down almost like you're, you have a windshield wiper. So one, two, left uppercut, pat down, throw that right cross. Has to be again from a side angle, jab, cross, left uppercut, Tap the hand down, boom, throw that right cross. One, two, uppercut, down parry, right cross. And use, make sure you answer the phone, which means the opposite hand, the non-striking hand, is against your cheek, almost like you're talking on the telephone. And as always, we want to breathe out every motion, every punch, all right? So here, when you throw the jab, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe, breathe out. And obviously, you're breathing in in between, so take a look at 75% speed, okay? So just a little bit faster. Just follow along, jab, cross, uppercut, Pat down, throw the right cross. Again, one, two, uppercut, pat down, right cross. Okay, left jab, right cross, left uppercut, pat down with the left hand, boom, throw that right cross. 
one, two, uppercut, bear down, right cross, one, two, uppercut, bear down, right cross. All right, one more look from another angle, one, two, uppercut, bear down, right cross. Again, one, two, uppercut, carry down, right cross. Let's put it into action. So Muay Thai is most fun interactively, so if you have a training partner, it's great to train with. Now, we're using focus mitts, and those are the little round pads. They look like catcher's mitts, and they're gonna go on your hands. All right, and as you use them, you're gonna catch the person's punch. But if you don't have them, if you have a partner, both you guys can use boxing gloves. So you can use your own gloves as mitts. Obviously don't hit as hard because you don't have that padding. But um, if you do, just work with each other and work that combination. And here we see Roland in the yellow shirt working with Jerry. And Jerry's using that combination. One, two, uppercut. You see how he pats that hand down as he throws the cross. One, two, uppercut hand down and goes to the cross. All right, boom. You can mix it up with freestyle too. And so freestyle is calling anything you want. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. And when you say the word combination or combo, use that combo. One, two, uppercut, parry down, boom, go the right cross. And you can see the combination being thrown on the bottom left hand of the corner of the screen. And that's if you lose your place or you kind of get lost again. Get the combination, look, and you can see it's one, two, uppercut, carry down, and throw the cross. Good. If you don't have a partner to train with, you have to obviously practice against the television screen or whatever you're watching it on. Or you can practice in front of a mirror and check out your own form and own technique. So obviously best to practice good form, good technique. The great thing about working with a partner if they have mitts is that there's a little bit more contact and resistance. And so contact and resistance just allows you to punch and not hyperextend, but really work those techniques and work it going with a little bit of resistance where you're not punching out 100%. Sometimes when you punch the air, and you punch hard, you kind of hyperextend that elbow and we don't want that to happen. Good movement, good breathing. It's a three minute round here. So you want to keep that pace going. You can practice freestyle if you want, or you can refer to the bottom of the screen. Practice this combination over and over again. Here we see Roland and Jerry just working a lot of freestyle in, and then calls that combination, boom, throws that combination really fast, really quickly. And work your shoulders loose. All right, a lot of times we see beginners punching and they're only using their arms. And so what we want to do is we want to be able to, to work the shoulders with it. So it's not only the fist and the arm, but it's the shoulders that roll along with it, and that's going to give you the additional power. Makes them a good breathing. And work that combination with your partner there. All right, that's one three minute round. We're going to work on the second set, another three minute round. All right, and if you're with your partner, you can just switch off with your partner, all right? If you have mitts on or if you have gloves on, you'll be on the catching side and let your partner be uh, hitting, all right? So good, keep that rhythm going. You can see Roland in the yellow shirt. He's holding for Melo. Melo is one of our amateur fighters, won his first fight by knockout. And you can see Muay Thai can be practiced by anybody, all ages, male or female, no matter what your body type is, we're all with a common goal to get in shape, shed some pounds, work off some aggression, and just all in all, great mental therapy, 
doing Muay Thai. And you can see Mello, uh, when he punches, he drives his punch forward, and we want to be able to step forward as we punch, put that body weight behind there. And obviously, you can always slow down, get the technique down clean first. Make sure our technique is clean because we're developing we're developing muscle memory and we want good muscle memory and we want that muscle memory to be correct with correct form. And basically when you're doing this you're working with six basic punches. You're working with the jab, then the cross, mm -hmm. the round punches that are horizontal are the hooks, and the punches that come up upward are the uppercuts. So jab, cross, left hook, right hook, left uppercut, right uppercut. And if you're right-handed, your right hand's going to be in the back, and that's because it's your stronger hand. Stronger hand's going to travel a longer distance. The left hand, which is your non-dominant hand, travels half the distance, so that's your stun weapon. And then your rear hand is your kill weapon, so it's stun kill. Hospital Cemetery. The great thing about training Muay Thai is you have to be in the moment. So when you're in the moment and you're training, there's nothing like it. You can't think about anything else. Great mental therapy. And we're working with a partner too partner kind of keeps you at your game so again if you don't have mitts you can both use boxing gloves just make sure you know what per which person is catching and then when you do a full three minute round you'll switch off with your partner and let him do it so that's our combination jab cross uppercut pat down with the same hand as you throw the uppercut with and then throw the right cross and that creates that opening. Let's take a look at combo number two. The second combination we're gonna use, all right, is gonna be one, two, jab. One, two, jab. Then we're gonna take the left hand, parry inward and cross. One, two, jab, parry, cross. Again, one, two, jab, parry, cross. All right, this side here, one, two, jab, parry, cross. See how I shift my feet? One, two, jab, parry, cross. And the last one here, one, two, jab, parry, cross. Again, one, two, jab, parry, cross. So here at half speed, you see jab, cross, jab again. And then we're gonna take that same left hand, push the hand inward, and then throw the cross. So the last one we did, we used an uppercut and we pat the punch down. Now we're using jab, cross, jab, pushing inward, and then throwing that cross. Okay, half speed a little closer. And you see that cadence now. So a lot of you guys have been practicing, been using that punch combination where you're alternating hands, but now we're gonna go left, right, left, and then left again, and then right. Changes the cadence a little bit. Jab, cross, jab, left parry, right cross. All right, once again, jab, left, right cross, left jab, left parry, right cross. One, two, jab, parry in, right cross. And we use that same name, jab, as uh, the number one punch. So when we say one, two, it's obviously jab, cross. When we say jab again, it's still the left hand. All right, so that's 75% speed, though, as far as 25% slower. So it's a little bit faster than the previous one, but then you can see it still broken down. All right, so as you're practicing, try to practice the same speed get that rhythm a lot of times you won't get that rhythm because you're using that left hand twice great job let's put this together so in fight fit we try to expose the same type of techniques based on the same theory 
and in theory is we're going to use that left hand twice to parry in mid combination So one, two, jab, parry in, right cross. And work with your partner on this, okay? Let him call the word combination. When you're first working with a partner on the mitts, it's always good to call the combination or call the technique first and then raise the mid up, okay? We'd see Roland here using his mitts and when he throws and after there's a calls a combination and then when they hit, he puts the mitts back down. And then when he puts them back up again, see the striker knows when to hit again. So it comes back up and then the striker knows when to hit and it drops back down. So if you keep your mitts up all the time, the striker doesn't really know when to hit again and you won't be able to time it as well initially in the start. So this episode on kick fit, we're focusing more on boxing and boxing and pairing. So again, it's three punches, jab, cross, jab, parry inward with the left hand, and then throw the right cross. And Jerry's punching right now in the foreground. You can see him punching. He has very snap, pun snappy punches, all right? So when you do punch, you want to make sure the hand comes back fast, just like the way Jerry's doing it. You want to leave the hand out there, dangling out there, and you leave it out there too long. That's when you get your counter punch. Your opponent gets the counter punch in. Jab, cross, jab, parry in, right cross. And when you call a combination or you work a combination with your partner, go ahead and uh, move around a half circle, all right? And uh, as you're chasing your partner in that half circle move, make sure your hand stays up at all time. And that way, we ensure that you're always on guard, always in ready position after you strike, even when you're moving, even when there's no action, hands up at all times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Let's go to the second. The second three minute round. And here you can see they've changed off, changed off the partners. And work that combination, jab, cross, jab, parry in, and then throw that cross. You see Jerry's mixing it up with Ramon. Jerry's wearing a black t-shirt, tank top t-shirt. And right there in the foreground, that's Mello hitting with Roland. Roland wearing the yellow shirt. You guys are just having a great time just working out and breathing and the time really flies uh, when you're hitting pads or hitting mitts because you don't really think about the time you're in the moment you're engaged you're using good technique you want to make sure all your punches are snappy snappy crisp okay so this is a difference when the punches aren't snappy they're pushing and we don't want to push the punch we want to snap that punch Almost like a bullwhip, cracking that punch outward. Velocity, speed, that will give you the additional power that you need. Make sure your chin is down. All right, so your jaw's not exposed. Keeping your chin down will protect your jaw against the counter punches. See Ramon throwing the overhand punch. Let's take a look at the bottom right again. And remember that combination, okay? Use the left jab, right cross, left jab, parry in, and then right cross. that rhythm keep that flow going 
KickFit is your virtual gym. These are all your training partners working with you. And they should inspire you to keep punching, keep moving, keep breathing, and don't give up. Make your opponent move around. And if you don't have somebody, you just make sure that you're moving around, keeping your feet, footwork, keeping your stance alive, keeping your movement and flowing, the flow going, keep that rhythm. That's the important thing. All right, let's take a look at combo number three. The last one, we're gonna use a hook and we're gonna parry outside. So here, one, two, hook, parry out, cross. One, two, hook, parry, cross. Again, one, two, hook, parry, cross. And again, one, two, hook, parry, cross. Again, one, two, hook, parry, cross. One more, one, two, hook, parry, cross. Use a long hand parry. Again, one, two, hook, parry, cross. Again, one, two, hook, parry, cross. One more, one, two, hook, parry, cross. All right, based on the same theory again, we're gonna use that outside parry now. So we start out with jab, cross, and then left hook, parry outward. See, since the hook came inward, we're just gonna use that hand and parry outward and throw that cross. All right, this is at half speed, so jab, cross, parry inward, boom, throw that cross. One, two, left hook, right cross. I want you to notice the footwork here. So it's jab, cross, so you slide a little bit on that hook, and then slide back sideways again when you parry outward. Again, one, two, left hook, push the hand out, boom, throw the right cross. One, two, left hook, parry out, right cross. One, two, left hook, left parry out, right cross. Take it one more time. This is at 75%. All right, so it's only 25% slower. All right, so it should be able to follow at a good pace. One, two, left hook, carry out, right cross. And that should be the breathing, okay? All right. One, two, left hook, left carry, right cross. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, good. All right, that's our third combination. Let's put it into practice. So this whole theme of this episode of KickFit, this session here, is using that left hand in mid combination to create an opening. And the opening that we're using is going to be a parry to push the hand out, okay? The first one we push the hand down, the second one we push the hand inward, now we're going to push the arm outward. Jerry. And they just did that combination. And Jerry's throwing a lot of double jabs there. A nice snappy, snappy move. Double jab is a great technique to keep your opponent at bay, not allowing them to rush in. Keep your opponent moving around, or you should just keep circling. I know if you're watching this, you're facing the screen, but you can turn around, move 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and you still keep your eye peripherally on your screen. Alright, this is the third combination once again. And we're 
using a jab, right cross, left hook, carry out, and then right cross. Nice, keep everything snappy. Keep the technique strong. Keep the breathing going. Keep your body rhythm moving, okay? So in between sets, while you're moving around, the shoulders are still moving, the body's still bouncing, and you know, keep your rhythm going. Now, if you're the mitt holder, all right, you want to make sure your striker has about 80 or 90 percent extension on his punch. So, if he's punching any less than that, and his arms are too close, and he looks like a T-Rex punching, it means you're standing a little bit too close. striker to get almost a hundred percent extension so when you tap those mitts or you tap your own glove against them don't push down too hard you want to catch all right you don't you're not punching yourself keep training to this epic music it should be inspiring you to work harder progress all the time work your way up and longevity is the key so that finishes that three minute session we're going to go to the second three minute session here so if you're with the partner switch off with your partner if you're not hey go again if you go through the full thing that would be a six minute round for you in a normal boxing round it's a three minute round Muay Thai is also a three minute round and the amateurs is actually a two minute round. But when we train fighters for amateur competition, we still have them hit a three minute round. And that's because, hey, you're training an extra minute. Mixed martial arts is a five minute round. All right, so remember our combination, okay? One, two, left hook. And then left outside parry, all right? And then throw that right cross. Keep that footwork going, shift around. Now I'm not a therapist or a psychologist, but I know when you hit something, Everybody feels a lot better. It's a stress relief, it's an energy release, it's an aggression release. And that's the wonderful thing about Muay Thai kickboxing. Now when you get a great workout, tone your body, learn self-defense, but also a great mental workout, a mental detox. In our crazy lives that we live, we need those moments where we can just clean up our thoughts, clean up our mind, clear our mind, and hey, let's melt the stress away or beat the, beat the stress away. And sometimes you want to make your make sure your opponent still has his guard up and still has defense hands up so throw some punches at him every once in a while make sure he's blocking throw some hooks at him every once in a while make sure their guard is still up great session great combination using these techniques here again hand combination and pairing off the same hand that you last struck with and executing that right cross counter. Good job. Let's take a look and review all three techniques that we learned. Today we're gonna work on a combination that involves pairing or peeling, okay? 
So we're going to hit one, two, uppercut. On this uppercut hand, we're going to peel down and throw across. Okay, so one, two, left uppercut, peel down with the left hand, throw the right cross. All right, one, two, up, peel, cross. All right, doing it here. Jab, cross, uppercut, peel down, cross. Again, one, two, uppercut, peel down, cross. One more time, one, two, uppercut, parry, cross. And again here, one, two, uppercut, parry down, cross. Again, one, two, uppercut, parry down, and cross. All right, taking a look a little bit closer, okay? Use that same hand and parry down. One, two, uppercut, parry down, throw that right cross. So even when your opponent's at guard, turtle shelling, clamming up, use that hand, push that hand down and create that opening. One, two, left uppercut, parry down, right cross. Again, one, two, uppercut, parry down, right cross. One, two, uppercut, parry down, right cross. Left, right, left, left again, and right. The second combination we're going to use, all right, is going to be one, two, jab. One, two, jab. Then we're going to take the left hand, parry inward, and cross. One, two, jab, parry, cross. Again, one, two, jab, parry, cross. All right, this side here. One, two, jab, parry, cross. See how I shift my feet? One, two, jab, parry, cross. And the last one here. One, two, jab, parry, cross. Again, one, two, jab, parry, cross. The second series here uses three straight punches and an inside parry and another straight punch. So one, two, one, parry in, right cross. One, two, one, parry in, right cross. Again, one, two, one, parry in, right cross. Again, jab, cross, jab, parry inward, right cross. Last one, we're gonna use a hook, and we're gonna parry outside. So here, one, two, hook, parry out, cross. One, two, hook, parry, cross. Again, one, two, hook, parry, cross. And again, one, two, hook, parry, cross. Again, one, two, hook, parry, cross. One more, one, two, hook, parry, cross. We use a long hand parry. Again, one, two, hook, parry, cross. Again, one, two, hook, parry, cross. One more, one, two, hook, parry, cross. And the last of our techniques, all right? Face off that left hook now. So one, two, left hook, parry outward, right cross. Again, one, two, hook, parry out, right cross. One, two, hook, parry out with the left hand, right cross. See all the techniques that you learned today, okay? Throw a combination, throw a punch, and then use a parry off that last the third punch and encounter. We hope you enjoyed this edition of Kick Fit. Keep practicing, keep sharp, keep strong.